Hey guys, I'm Pet2. How are you? Another flashlight review. I've been doing a lot of flashlight reviews. Um, I don't know why. Probably because I've been buying a lot of them. Just been on the flashlight kick lately, I guess. I'm going to be doing a review on this Coleman. I'm contemplating doing this review on this light or not because I think this light is discontinued. Um, but I really like this light, so I wanted to do a review on it. You may run into some on eBay still, you know, maybe some old new stock or whatever. Uh, this light, I'll just start off with the specs. It's a 150 lumen light. Uh, it has a three hour burn time, runs off three AAA batteries. It has a 130 meter throw. And obviously it's water resistant. So, it has all the normal specs. Uh, the throw on it is half decent for 150 lumen. 134 meters is fine. Uh, it's got a half decent tight beam to it. Um, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty white beam. I'll compare it to a Phoenix. Actually, this Phoenix has a little bit more of a warmer beam than this uh, this Coleman, actually. Let me compare it to a Bushnell 125 that I did the review on. You can definitely see a difference there. This is the Bushnell, this is the Coleman. You can see how white that light is. It's a very white light. It's a nice tint, if you like the white, real white tints. Uh, the back of this light, I found something out, and I'll get into that in a little bit. Um, you see how this AAA carrier is connected to this tail cap? Uh, there's another light that's out there um, in the budget category, same category that has the same type setup and it's the uh, Ozark Trail the the tan series lights that are out there same setup well I bought one of those for my son and this tail cap screws directly into the back of that light so that's telling me that Coleman makes those those lights for Walmart which is interesting because these are really good lights for the price. These when these first came out they were twenty five dollars. I got this at Dick's on sale for fifteen dollars. So for fifteen bucks this is an awesome light. It's got a uh, orange peel reflector but it still holds a nice tight beam. Uh, the tail cap on it it doesn't protrude um, so you really gotta get your your thumb in there to get that light on. Um, so if you're holding it, you know, with your hand and you're like this, you may have a little bit of a problem getting in there to, to turn it on. That's the only drawback. But one of the positives to that is that you can do a tail stand. Is that stone frame? Yeah. You can do a tail stand, which is important if you're, you know, you need this, this light to, uh, you know, illuminate the room or a tent and you want to put it down and do some work, you know, hands free or whatever. Tail, tail stands are important. You know, like some of these other lights, this Phoenix, you can't do it because it's got the protruding on-off switch. You can't do a tail stand. $40 light, you can't do a tail stand on. The, uh, this. Yeah. If I organize my area here, I could do the review a little better. Here I have a, um, a Thru-Night TN12 that has the tactical type cap on the back. That you can do a tail, tail stand. As long as you get this in the right spot, then you can do a tail stand. So that type of light you can, but you got to make sure you have your thumb in that in that groove. So let's get back to the the Coleman. You know these are gonna be quick reviews because you know these are just basic lights. Um, I took my son camping, and anytime I go camping or or go like when I go up the mountains or whatever, I usually bring an assortment of different lights. Um, I always have I always have a uh, a headlamp with me. Always. 
Um, with that, I usually carry some sort of pocketable light um, that I can throw in my pocket. This uh, is a pocketable light. It's a little bit big for like an everyday carry, but you can throw this in your pocket and, and go for a walk without any problems whatsoever. Something like this, you can't. This is a cheap ultra fire. Um, and then usually I buy something, bring, buy, usually bring something that has a little bit more throw. Um, maybe like a, a, a through night, a bigger through night or something, just in case I need something that has a little bit more reach. But with that, um, I'm also going to be doing a review on a, a Coleman headlamp as well which is a CT-10, no, CHT-10. Um, that's going to be another review I'm going to be doing today. Um, but to just wrap this up, um, if you run into any of these lights, um, for the price, sub $25 light, $20, $15 light, these are good, good lights. Good quality for the price. Really good quality for the price. They'll last you for years. So with that, you remember... Always vote freedom first.